Cars and Coffee in Triangle Town Hall. That's always a good one. It has a front right here as well. But unfortunately, it, it can only probably hold like my camera code. Ford Chevy GT 350R. Well, not the R, but still GT 350. And when it comes to Mustangs, I believe this is actually probably one of my favorites. Actually, funny enough, the way how this one is right now, my, maybe not the black wheels. Yeah, those are black wheels. I have my sunglasses on, so I really can't tell. But when it comes to the way how this one is right now, this one looks really good. Like. I really like it. And to be honest, what I consider a GT350 over, let's say, an M2 or M2 competition or maybe a Camaro Z one I would only consider the GT350 if it was a GT250R because the GT250R, holy moly, the exhaust coming from that thing is insane. Like, I don't even know what, how else to describe it. The GT250R is such an amazing car and it's so so intense like but i mean i've seen and heard the regular gt250s and they're not bad at all in fact they are very good they are an amazing car my buddy's camaro right here still looking super epic I don't even know what else to say, only you guys have got to follow my dude right here because his Camaro is probably the most epic Camaro I have I have pretty much seen in the history of Camaros. Like, he put a lot of work into this thing. I mean, look at that. Holy moly. Like, this is insane. Wow. Freaking crazy canards that are just freaking godly. So cool, such an amazing car. So I had to give a special shout out to my dude right here. He is by far one of my all time greatest subscribers. He always comments, always likes, a lot of the times he actually shares my videos out with a lot of people. So dude, just for you, I'm going to give your car like a special slow-mo montage. Only, only for you, so ready, and for people who also do it as well, if you guys, you know, comment, uh, share, and you know like the video as much as he does then you get your own little slow-mo montage as well so ready three two one boom Freaking nitrous tank. What in the world? And here comes the crazy part. You come over here, you have the controls for the nitrous right there. Like, that's crazy. Holy moly. This track hawk is insane. I think this track hawk with the nitrous and everything might be. Well, actually, not even might. There, this thing is faster than a Lamborghini or It has to be. You cannot tell me that this thing is not faster than a Lamborghini Urus. And to be perfectly honest, I think I'd rather take this over a Lamborghini Urus. Because this thing, to me, it looks amazing, sounds amazing. And since this one in particular also has the flipping nitrous in the back, I, I don't even know what to say. This is incredible. This is, I think this is my technical first time I've actually seen nitrous and how it actually works. 
This is crazy. And look, now you don't even know it's even there. So you could have like a grocery getter, getter but you can always be reminded that when you lift it, you're sitting under a bomb right there. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my goodness. That is really cool. Wow. Guys, listen to that. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's the nitro system like circling through the system. The nitro circling through the system. That's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Oh my goodness. You guys, it smells so good back here. Oh my goodness. I love what the owner did. It smells so good back here, yes. So insane. Like, I bowed down to you, like, seriously, holy moly. I, I don't even know what to say, like, I don't even wanna play. Like, like that, this is a family SUV, and it has nitrous in it. Oh my God, that's crazy. What in the world is this? This looks, thing looks amazing, but what the world even is it? This is so crazy. What in the world? This is so cool. And you can actually look, like see the actual engine through this thing. Wow. Wow. This thing is completely gutted. Okay. I, I thought to, oh, the thing was over there as well. Okay, yeah, this thing is just full of surprises. What in the world? This is really cool. This is super cool. Holy moly. I need one of these in my life. Oh! Holy moly. That is insane. Yo, sir, what even is this? That's like a uh, Jagger 1977 XJ Coupe. XJ Coupe. Yeah. Okay. Fitted with a uh, four-liter supercharger engine, manual transmission, and a uh, standalone ECU, and everything else I could put on it. <laughs> so uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible. Like, straight six. You know, there's nothing fancy about it. Whoa! Wait, so. wait, 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 wait. Did you usually just say straight six? Straight six engine. I thought it would be like a V8 because it sounded like a V8. It's a British Jaguar in it. Straight six engine. Yeah, because yeah, it sounded like that. It sounded like that. Oh, nope. straight six. But this one sounded better than that. That's the crazy know. one. Personal choice, but uh, yeah. Woo! It's not as loud as that. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Ah, gosh. Oh, God. That sounds epic. Oh, yeah, so you guys, we have a little bit of a debate right here. What would you guys rather have? Would you guys rather have a, a fully electric vehicle, doesn't matter if it's, you know, SUV, car, minivan, whatever, or would you take, would you still take petrol over the electric? Remember, this right here, this one right here is fully, one, uh, fully 100% electric versus this one. Petrol sounds amazing can do some crazy crap, but this one is much faster than this. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. What would you guys rather take, this one or that one? Petrol versus electric. Well, you guys, today has been absolutely epic. I did not think today was gonna be as epic as it has been, but holy moly, this event, every time I come to it, it never fails to not impress me. Today has, was, Woo! Today has been absolutely epic, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys share the video out with everybody. And I look forward to seeing you guys next video. 
Take care, everybody, and thank you guys so much for like, uh, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Take care. Have a good day. Peace out.